10,000 rides. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Look at that. That's wild. 10,000 rides. <laughs> wow. That's uh, Thank God. Thank God. We did it. We did it. We did it. 10,000 trips. It's pretty fly. Thank you for celebrating with me. And if you are subscribed to this, let's see if we can get 10,000 likes. thing I have learned is that people are fun driving here in Vegas is a unique experience when you drive out here in Vegas to imagine you get to meet everybody people from all over the world from all industries from all walks of life from all sexual orientations from all backgrounds from rich to poor from happy to sad to you get to meet all of them I will say that there's hope there's hope. A lot of people always ask Uber drivers, how many people, you know, crazy folk, or, you know, how many people are, are a-holes or how many people are, you know, getting your car with attitudes or how many people get super drunk and throw up? Like none, not many, not many. Excess out here. There's a lot of vice out here. There's a lot of things that you can do out here in Las Vegas that nobody will condemn you or judge you or you know no one will try and stop you they'll keep giving you drinks they'll keep letting you throw your money away they'll 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 keep offering things that aren't good for you you know they'll give you some they'll give you knowledge too you know you can go to museums and events and shows and concerts and you know but everything is in excess out here the lights are bright the people are big and extravagant and having the time of their life. One thing I learned about Vegas is that people come to Vegas to be who they think they're supposed to be in Vegas. I'll say that again. People come to Vegas to be who they think they're supposed to be in Vegas. There's almost this unspoken agreement in Vegas, but what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So therefore you have an idea of the things that you probably can get away with in Vegas. And I met all those people, but I also met, you know, the lady who was just trying to get to work or the kid who's failing out of school. And one thing I'm most proud of out of these 10,000 rides is that I got a chance to hopefully encounter as many of them as possible in a positive way. I got an opportunity to talk to people. I got an opportunity to check a few people got the opportunity to to hug people when they were crying pray for them when they needed prayer bring them off of their high horse when they just had the wrong idea about some things there were some annoying people sure there were some people who you know you just wanted them to be better there were some people who were you know just mean oh people who were actively cheating and but i promise you out of ten thousand rides ten people out of 10,000 that have been really problem people. I've had some healthy debates. I've learned so much. Oh my, the learning of, I've been an arbitrator for countless people, man. I think my favorite thing I've ever heard when driving people around, random people, people who live here, people who visit is, thank you, I'm glad God put me in your car. I'm glad I met you today. I'm glad, I'm so happy. I feel so blessed that God gave me an opportunity to meet you. And I just feel like a vessel. Literally just say whatever God tells me to say in that moment, knowing that there's no need to take it back because one, it's God mandated, but two, I might never get a chance to see this person again. So I gotta say what needs to be said 
release what's allowed to be said. It don't always have to be about what my personal feelings are about it or because a lot of times you don't have all that time. Sometimes you don't realize is that you can plant a seed, but sometimes you don't get to see that seed turn into a bush or a tree or ever sprout at all. Sometimes you're the pruning process of somebody else's seed that was planted before. I learned that. I learned that over all these different people, man. I learned that sometimes just being quiet works. That is a major thing I've learned. There's so many people doing things that they don't love and they all have dreams. They all have dreams and wants and desires to maybe do something and be somewhere else or or try to learn a new hobby or but when we are places we don't want to be yeah but then there's those people, man, who are who are doing what they love. And you see those people are the same, too. They have this, this joy about them. I you know, I always say, everybody's everywhere. That you've heard this. But everybody's everywhere. The person who looks like he's doing the best is sometimes going through a hard time. The person who doesn't seemingly look like they have anything together can give you an outlook on life that will check you, that will humble you, that will make you cry. Everybody's everywhere. Be the one that shows love, that chooses love first. Be the one that helps. Be the one that gives. This gig ain't as tough as people think. And it pays too, it pays. I ain't cab man James. You're in a cab, I'm a man. My name is James. That's how I remember it. Y'all be great.